So if you want to get NDI working from your Mac running ProPresenter to your Windows computer running um, OBS, so it can show up in here so you can add it as a source, uh, the first thing you want to do is go into your screen configurator. So we'll go up here to ProPresenter, Preferences, Screens, and then we will configure screens. And then we'll add a new audience display. We want NDI, so we'll say, we'll just do this one right here. Actually, we'll do new NDI, and then we'll say 19 or 1080p 30. And then we will call this, um, yeah, we'll just leave it MacBook, MacBook Pro NDI for now. The name doesn't really matter. It's more just so you can keep organized. All right, and then we'll close out of that. And then right now, if we go ahead and click this, we'll see we have outputs going. So if we go back over to our Windows computer, you'll see when we come into here to add new source, there's no NDI option. So what you need to do is go to this website. I'll, I'll link it down below for you. And you need to install this OBS NDI plugin. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab the Windows zip or the Windows EXE, you can do the zip too if you want, or if you're needed for a Mac or Linux, it's right there too. We'll download that. We'll install that. And then it should just be next, next, next. And then it's saying that OBS Studio already exists. Do you want to do it anyways? And we go ahead and say yes. And then we're adding the plugin, which is what we want. And then we'll say next and install. And then we'll have to accept the, so this is for the, this, the NDI, this is their, their actual software. So then you can say you agree, next, next, install. And finish, and finish. Reload OBS, and then you'll get this Windows security alert. We want to go ahead and allow access. Go ahead and hit the plus. Go down here to NDI source. We're going to create a new source. And then we'll want to click this little drop down here. And then we'll see, you should see your NDI sources here. And the one that we want is the MacBook Pro NDI one. So we can click that and then say, okay. And then you'll see now we have the words. And if you come over to here, when we switch the words now, it will switch them. And that's all you need to do to get your NDI working from your Mac to your Windows computer. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and we'll see you next time.